My name is Arsan Magomedov. I've been fighting for about 17 years. First time I watched fight, I, it's uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme in, in movie kickboxing. The time I, I first watched the see the Muay Thai, I get I get very passionate and I get in love with Muay Thai. So it's make me who I am. It's make me strong as a man. So where I come from, it's very dangerous place. It's a lot of tracks, a lot of shootings and bombs. I did all my childhood, all, all the time, did Muay Thai. So it, it's kind of put me in the right direction in my life. In Russia, if you don't want to be on the street, you go to do, do sports. You know what I mean? A any sport. I, I, I think every sport is good for you, especially martial arts, especially Muay Thai. To beat somebody, you have to first beat yourself. You know, beat that weaknesses, that those minuses, those. And you, when you when you when you start beating yourself, you become a strong person, good person, good man. If you have, if you have a right head, you know what I mean. And Frank Georgie is one of Australia's most successful and loved fighters, with an impressive fight record both in and outside Australia. Georgie has dedicated a lot of his life to the sport that has seen him take on some big name opponents and take home some big titles. Frank's trained pretty hard because it's of me. I push him hard. I've been through hard training session on my own, so I know how it is. And it's Muay Thai. If you're not going to train hard, you're going to get hurt, especially fighting in as well. The key on top is train hard and you, you're going to be champion. This is the only way. My heritage and my family culture is Italian. Um, most of the times at school, I was the only odd, odd child out. Like, you know, my, my heritage is Italian, first generation here in Australia. Uh, it was hard growing up on the coast being the old one out. So yeah, at school was always a fight or, you know, a bit of teasing this or that. So I had a lot more fights out of out of the ring than in, you can say. Uh, over the years of Muay Thai, um, it's been hard on my body. I've broken bones, broken knuckles, dislocated stuff, um, done, done ligaments in my knee, in both my knees. So yeah, it's hard on your body for sure. With everything else getting put aside for his training, Georgie focuses solely on Muay Thai in the lead up to his next fight. A fight that is worth laying everything on the line for. Sometimes Muay Thai, it's, it's a very selfish sport. You've got to sacrifice a lot and a lot of people get hurt, miss out on a lot of things. Um, there's times that I'd love to take my boys to soccer or I'd love to spend more time with them, but you know, unfortunately, you know, they miss out a lot on, on me and my, my time. Um, my training comes first and then my family comes. But I feel if I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't be where I am today. Georgie, having admitted that more often than not, Training becomes his number one priority. He goes into the fight having more to fight for. Every time he steps in the ring, he is not only stepping in there for himself, but for his partner and two young boys.
Next fight here on the Gold Coast at Convention Centre, it's important for me, it's a world title. It's a WKM world title. The boy I'm fighting is um, Toby Alexanderson. He's a tough boy, walk-on fighter, Thai style. Should be a, a good aggressive fight. I've been training hard. Hi, my name is uh, Tobias Alexanderson. I'm from Sweden. I fight out of uh, 019 boxing gym in uh, Sweden and uh, also out of uh, Khao Samrit, Thailand. It was a good opportunity for me to come to, to Australia and fight uh, Frankie because he's a, he's a big name here in uh, Australia and, uh, and also he have a name in, in around the world. Yeah, training for this fight against uh, Frankie, I, uh, I prepare in my hometown of, uh, of Örebro, Sweden, uh, in, my, in my own gym that I run with uh, my, my friend Christopher. Representing Australia tomorrow night, please welcome Frank Georgie. I feel now, just turned 30, I feel the strongest I've ever been. I feel at my peak. Muay Thai has made me a stronger person, more disciplined, humble and human. I fight to personally better myself as a fighter and a person and reach the goals I haven't reached. Georgie in the white trunks. Alexanderson in the blue. So there's not a lot that's going to phase Tobias, I don't feel either. He's going to be pushing the pace as well. Georgie, round number one, already going the big weapon, the most dangerous weapon, the elbow. Setting up for one there. And it was a beauty from the Queensland. Oh, look at that again. Georgie can. Yep, that right elbow for Georgie's paid dividends a number of times in this fight. Push kick to the face, Georgie now showcasing some great skills. For a unanimous points decision, the new WKN light middleweight champion of the world, Frankie Georgie. Thank you.